thank you for joining us again on another one of our programs, Pray TV. We are so grateful that you have taken time to click on that link and you are joining with us as we continue to pursue the Lord in prayer. My wife, Charlotte, is here. Charlotte, thank you for being here. I am so grateful to be here. God is doing some awesome things all over the earth. As many of you know, we're in an intensive 10 days of prayer, often called the Days of Awe, between Rosh Hashanah on the Jewish calendar and the Day of Atonement, which we will celebrate on September 28th. And it's just amazing, the prayers that are going up all over the world during this intensive time. I think we all realize we're in a very, very crucial time and that God is really calling us to be His people in this world. And you know, Charlotte, I am just so encouraged because just last couple of days ago, we have come into a new understanding of what is taking place, what, what, what is causal in what is happening as far as these shifting sands and mores and values and polarization. And God is helping us to get that understanding. And that understanding, Charlotte, is going to give our viewers understandings over the next, we'll unfold it over the next couple of months as God gives us the ability to apply the Word of God into our souls to give us a deeper sense of peace. Yes, we've always known that God is in control, that He is the master of the universe, that He is setting things in order, that He is about His work, but the way that the enemy has worked in America in particular, but he's doing it all over the world, is causing people to be able to be isolated and polarized and at each other's throat and full of anger and venom. God has a solution. We are onto it. We are seeing now what is happening and we will be sharing those things with you. I'm going to look at a portion of scripture here. This is from Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2, reading from the New International Version as our foundation verse for this program and our time of prayer together. This is Habakkuk's prayer. It says that in verse 1 of chapter 3, but beginning, just looking at this second verse, his prayer, he says, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day, in our time, make them known in wrath. Remember mercy. And as we contemplate this and as we think about this particular portion of Scripture, we long in our hearts for the revelation of God. Now this is Habakkuk who is in the Old Testament time, well before the time of Christ, as one of the minor prophets, as they are called, because they're smaller books. These were mighty prophetic men, but they didn't write necessarily long books like Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and the, the amazing writings of Isaiah. And they were called the major prophets. But the minor prophets, Habakkuk being one of them, was a mighty man of God. And he was crying out, even as we are today, that God, we've heard of your great deeds. Do it now. Do it again. Give evidence. Show forth your glory and your power. So Charlotte, I'm going to ask you to make a little comment on this and then we'll reread the scripture and go to prayer. I'm finding so much packed into this little book of Habakkuk. In the beginning of the book, Habakkuk, as we referred to in a program recently, was really crying out, why aren't you listening, God? Don't you hear? Why aren't you doing something? But you know what had to happen in his own life? He had to get himself aligned in position with where God wanted him to be. And so he said he would go up and he would set himself upon the watchtower and he would listen and see, to see what God had to show him. And if there's ever a day and time where we need to know what God is wanting to show us, it's today. 
to hear what God is trying to say to us. You know, we sometimes get this very um, lopsided view of God. He is loving. He is kind. But God also hates sin, and He judges sin. And so Habakkuk is crying out in this prayer, God, in your wrath, in your judgment, remember mercy. And I feel we're at this point. America has gone so far into sin that we truly deserve judgment. And so we are just really examining, first of all, our own hearts. Judgment does begin at the house of the Lord. We ask that we know that God in His mercy and in His love, He also has to send judgment at times to get us realigned, to get us where He wants us to be, and also to refine this earth. And so we just are at a crucial time and we cry out like Habakkuk, Lord, remember mercy in the midst of it all and come to us and let us see your mighty deeds like other generations saw it. We're also really crying out for this young generation because they have been so manipulated by so many forces going on in the world. And we are praying for a great revelation of Jesus Christ to this young generation as well. You know, it's almost as though we know that people do have choices. We recognize that we are responsible for our choices. But the seduction is so heavy, so engulfing, so pointed at trying to make people do certain things and have certain behaviors and, and believe certain lies, that it does take a genuine revelation of God to be able to break through all of this layers of lies. So we're going to read it again and then we're going to begin to pray. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2, reading from the New International Version of the Bible says, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, Lord. Repeat them in our day, in our time. Make them known in wrath. Remember mercy. Charlotte, would you begin our prayer time, dear? Lord, we just thank you, God that we will see, God, your deeds, your mighty works being made manifest. And Lord, even during these 10 days of intensive prayer all over the world, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you would lay bare your holy arm, God, and you would fight for your people, Lord. Father, we know that you are upholding, God, true justice in the world. Lord, there is no justice apart from you. You are the only one that really sees the hearts of mankind. You are the only one that really judges the heart accurately, Father. And we just cry out to you, Lord. Lord, we know that we are deserving of judgment here in America, God. We know that. Father, but we cry out as your people, Lord. We stand in the gap as your people, even as Habakkuk did, Lord, standing, Lord, in the place where you assigned him to and saying to you, Lord, I want to hear what you're hearing. I want to see what the Lord will do. Lord, we want to see what you are going to do. We want to see what you are doing, Lord, because your deeds are mighty. And in this generation, Lord, we are believing for another great visitation of your spirit, Lord. We just look to you. We thank you for it. And we thank you, God, that you will bring God whole nations of young people, God, to you and into your fullness and into your truth, Lord, and you will demolish the lies of the evil one in all of our minds, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. And Father, I agree with those prayers and I ask, Lord, that you would send forth your spirit of truth. Father, your spirit of truth will prevail. You have promised it. We are laying siege, God, in prayer that your spirit of truth will prevail in our generation, in this season, in this time, 
because people need to know the truth. Your word says you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. We are believing right now. We are praying right now that the truth of the living God will manifest his glory, manifest his essence, manifest his personhood to each one of our hearts and we will be able to glorify God together. And even as Habakkuk said, repeat them, those mighty acts, those mighty deeds, repeat them in our day, in our time, make them known. And Lord, again, in wrath, remember mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. People, this is just a little prayer tutor. It's just a little prayer prep. It's just a little prayer advance. You now, you are under assignment. You go into your closeted place of praying and interceding and allow the Holy Spirit to give more revelation to your life. Amen. Bless you.